Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of AmiBroker tutorial videos. Uh, this one in particular is looking at AmiBroker formula language and the if then else function. Uh, now this is the one based on arrays. This is the easy one um, to use and I absolutely love it because you know it's sort of built into AmiBroker. Really great to use. What I've got here is just the, the trading system that we were looking at previously to create a line where it turns green if the, the signal is up and then if it's turning down then the signal will be red. So if the moving average is moving up it's green and if it's moving down it's red. So apart from that we've already got the code for the actual trading system itself. What I want to do is just show you the code for um, for the changing of the color of the moving average and to do that we use that if then else function. So what I'm going to do is just uh, set up an array and to do that I'm just going to call it color change because that's what we're going to do and again you could call this anything um, but this is our little section here and I've already got the plot details so it's it will be plotted on our chart um, and you know if you want to know how to do that I do have other videos on how to do that so I won't go into that in, in this particular video but to do the if then else we do type in IIF now when we type in IIF, it turns blue so that that means AmiBroker recognizes that code and it also means that it wants us to open up a bracket. So we open up our bracket and it tells us what, what it expects from us. Now it expects the condition that it wants to meet and then what it will do is it will actually return this function but if it's false, it will return this function instead. So what that means for us is what we want is the moving average to be above the previous moving average. So the one that we've set up is moving av, and that's just our array up here. And we want that to be greater than, just our greater than signal, our moving average previous, which is the one that we set up here as well. And again, that's just in the previous video. We put a, a little comma, and then what we want is just open that. Then what we want is the true array. So if it is above the previous moving average, we want to return the color green. Now if it's not, we want to return the color red. And it does turn bold, these two functions here, so color green, that's an actual AmiBroker function. Um, there's a whole list of those at the AmiBroker website, so you know you can check those out. I think there's like I don't know, there's probably 50 or more colors uh, that you can actually choose from if you want to. I'm just keeping it very simple here. And um, so, as you can see, it turns bold. So that means AmiBroker recognizes that as a command. Now we close the bracket and close it off with a semicolon at the end. And once we've done that, if we save, we'll just close that down and we'll take it over here and just click... Oh, actually, I'll get rid of this first so that we make sure that we... No, hopefully this is uh, this turns out as well as that one that we had up previously. Um, if we just click overlay, okay, so it is the same. Great, fantastic. So we've done the right thing, and as you can see, for uh, for when the moving average is down, then it returns the red, the color red, and when the moving average is up, then it returns the color green. And what I've done is I've just referenced to that color change in um, the plot details. So when I'm plotting that moving average, and again there's de details on how to plot your moving average um, in AmiBroker that I've done in a previous video. But yeah, so that actually returns that array, and that array returns either the color green or the color red, depending on if the moving average is above the previous moving average. So it's, uh, you know, like, I mean, there's a lot to it, but you know, it's when you break it down, it's actually pretty simple, isn't it? Um, so, and as you can see, here's our moving average. Yep, beautiful, look at that, turning up, turning green. And it gives us a little, little buy arrow as well, which is pretty cool. Now, I hope that has helped you in some small way. Um, if it has, shoot me a message at the site, shoot me an email, or leave a comment below the video here. Apart from that, have a great week, guys, and happy trending until we meet again. Bye for now.